Welcome back Future Medicos. In today's video, we are going to look at probably the most prestigious medical college in India. We are going to look at a five-step process through which you can get a seat in AFMC Pune, that is Armed Forces Medical College, which is located at Pune, right? Come, let's see what are the five steps and how you should be following it step by step to get a seat in AFMC Pune. If you are interested in AFMC Pune, the very first step is for you to register with MCC, that is Medical Counseling Committee under the All India Counseling, right? So register with MCC and during registration, most likely you will get options like this, okay? You can see here, you can see certain options like All India Quota, Deemed, AFMC, ESI and so on, okay? I hope you can see that. If not, let me zoom that. So you will get options like this. Probably this application may not be the latest one, but uh, more or less, you will get these kind of options, right? The exact way it is presented might differ every year. But more or less, you will be asked whether you are interested in All India Quota, whether you are interested in Deemed, whether you are interested in AFMC, you will be asked. Now, if you are interested in AFMC, then you need to select AFMC. Please remember while registering with MCC, it's not during choice filling, it's during registration. If during registration, you miss the AFMC, then you will not be able to get a seat in AFMC. So make sure while selecting the registration, make sure you read each and every step because candidates make mistakes every year. Last year, many candidates forgot to put a tick mark for AIMS and they didn't get AIMS while they were doing the choice filling. So please be careful. Don't assume that you know everything, right? Read each and every sentence in the MCC registration. Now, this is a, a sample I'm showing or the application might look like this also, right? I don't know what is the application going to be today, but probably it could look something like this where they are asking like, right, do you want to apply for deemed quota counseling? Now, if you are interested in deemed universities, then you select yes. Otherwise, you should select no. Then if you move to the next, then the next option will be AFMC. They will ask, do you want to apply to AFMC, then whether you want to select a yes or no. Now, open seat. Open seat means what? The open seats in AIMS, JIPMER, and Central Universities, right? If you are interested, you should select yes. Right here, this JIPMER and this open seat, this open seat is for all candidates, whereas this JIPMER is only for internal candidates. So, I want you to clearly check each and every item in your application process, registration process and select it accordingly, right? All candidates, I would recommend select All India Quota, select open seats, right? At least these two and then AFMC. If you are eligible for ESI Quota, then select ESIC. If you want to participate in deemed universities counseling, select deemed university. But please remember, if you select deemed university, you need to pay a security deposit of 2 lakhs. If you don't select deemed university, then your security deposit will be only either 5,000 or 10,000. Uh, general candidates will pay 10,000 and then uh, reservation candidates will pay 5,000, right? So uh, please remember if you are interested in AFMC, in the first registration, you should select that you are interested in AFMC. Now the second step. Now once the deadline closes, right, uh, MCC will give a certain time to register for the counseling. Please remember this is round one counseling. If you are interested in AFMC, you should participate in the round one counseling. Fill the registration details. And once you have the deadline is over for registration, MCC will shortlist candidates based on need score. And then they will forward the list to AFMC. Okay. MCC will shortlist candidates based on need score. Not everyone who is selecting AFMC will be shortlisted. Now, how do they select? based on the rank. If you have higher rank, you have a better chance. Now, how many candidates will be shortlisted? Last year, about 1,670 students were shortlisted, right? You can see here in this document, uh, 1,324 boys and 346 girls. Why more boys, why less girls? Because the number of seats is more for boys and, and girls have lesser number of seats. That's why more boys are shortlisted and less girls are shortlisted. Now, this is the first list, uh, I mean, first level of shortlisting. Does not mean these 1,670 students all will get a seat, right? There are only limited seats, only 145 seats are available. These 1,670 students will be called for a selection procedure at AFMC Pune campus. Now, this is the document that shows 
the process now you can see here right okay what are the documents needed these are the things right okay last year you can see the cutoff marks considered for shortlisting that means the 1670 candidates when they were shortlisted the girls were minimum 641 marks only candidates with more than 641 marks were shortlisted for girls and for boys 616 and the above. Now, this is the list of candidates who are shortlisted. This will be published by AFMC. So, the first step you need to register. The second step, this is what AFMC will be publishing and you need to check whether your roll number is in this list. So, they will publish all the list of candidates, the, the 1670 candidates I told you, right? They will publish all of them and they will call them for the selection process at AFMC Pune by batches. So, you can see that the second batch have to come to AFMC Pune at 26th October, 9.30 a.m. At 9.30 a.m., the candidates with this roll number have to come and attend the procedure, right? So, this is the second step. Okay, the first step, register with MCC. Second step, check whether your roll number and name is in the list of candidates shortlisted for the selection procedure at AFMC Pune. Now, moving on to the third step. Now, what is the third step? The third step is actually the selection process at AFMC, right? So, you have to go to the college. You have to stay at Pune on the exact date and time given to you. And these are the things that will happen at the AFMC Pune. The first step, they will verify your documents. Second, you need to take a written test in test of English language comprehension, logic and reasoning. Okay, T-O-E-L-R, right? That is the short form, T-O-E-L-R. The test will be conducted for 80 marks, right? And there will be negative marks. You can see the details in the prospectus, but the exam will be conducted for 80 marks. And then whatever the score you are getting, it will be divided by four and it will be converted to 20 marks. Then you will go through a psychological assessment test. There is no score for psychological assessment test, but it's more like a qualifying test. Probably they will consider whether you pass or fail. But there is no score and whatever you are scoring in psychological assessment test will not be taken for ranking. Then there will be an interview. This interview is important because this interview carries 50 marks. Now your need score will be taken for 180 marks. That is 720. Whatever you have scored will be divided by 4. Say for example, if you have got 600, then it will be divided by 4. You will get 150 marks. And whatever you are scoring in TOELR, it will be divided by 4. Say, for example, out of 80, you score 60, then that will be divided by 4 and you get 15 marks there. Then 150 in need plus 15, 165 out of 200. Then whatever you score in interview for 50, that will be added. Say, for example, you score 35 marks in the interview. So 165 plus 35, you will get 200 out of 250. So the candidates will be ranked based on their performance in need, their performance in TOELR their performance in the interview. All the three will be given weightage. So please remember, just because you have a good score in NEET does not mean you will be selected. You also have to perform well in TOELR. You also have to perform well in the interview because a candidate with a slightly low score than you may be able to perform better in interview and then may go above you in the rank. Okay. And then there will be a medical examination. So there are certain specified uh, medical requirements for AFMC and you will go through the medical examinations and then you have to clear that also. So once this is done, then they will be publishing the list of selected candidates and waitlisted candidates. So AFMC, once all this procedure is completed, they have reviewed the candidates and then ranked the candidates. They will publish the selected candidates and waitlisted candidates. I will show you last year the list so that you get an idea, right? This is the screening results. You can see here, this is the screening results. And you can see that boys merit 1 to 115. The top 115 candidates get seat allotment. And girls from merit 1 to 30 get the uh, allotment. And then waitlisted candidates from 1 to 50, that is 116 to 165, those candidates get waitlisted. And similarly, candidates uh, from rank 31 to rank 40 in girls, they get waitlisted. They are the first level waitlist. And then the second level waitlist is um, 51 plus and then girls 11 plus, right? So they will publish the selected candidates. They will publish waitlist 1, waitlist 2.
and then they will ask you to um, okay they also publish rank wise how the candidates have performed and these candidates have to report to afmc pune on a certain date right they they say uh, so report two days are given in those two days you need to go to the college and then complete the admission you need to submit the original documents you need to go through another medical procedure medical examination and then you will be um, selected and then joining the college now this is the boys and girls the list is given the wait list is also given and accordingly right um, you have to go to the college for admission right list of wait listed candidates also they will give a specific date to come there right if there are vacancies then you will be immediately allotted the seat right so we have seen four steps now let's move to the step 5 which is basically a report to the college with original documents and complete the admission right so let's quickly go through the five steps register with mcc mcc shortlist candidates based on need score and pass the list to afmc afmc will publish the list of selected candidates for the uh, selection process then they will, you will be called for the selection process to the college then during the selection process you, you your documents will be verified you need to write a test of english language and um, logical reasoning then you need to go through a psychological assessment test you need to go through an interview you need to go through a medical examination and based on your performance in neat based on your performance in the toelr and interview you will be given a rank and if you are in the top 115 ranks among boys you will get a seat if you are among the top 30 ranks in girls you will get a seat then afmc will publish the selected candidates as well as wait listed candidates and then based on the list you need to report to the college with original documents and complete the admission now i will also show you the joining instructions so this is typically the joining instructions published by afmc they will give you all the details right date of reporting time of reporting uh, wait list candidates when they should come right all those details will be published medical fitness eligibility list of documents you need to produce they, they will give all the possible details you need in the joining instructions service liability agreement right you need to sign a service liability agreement um you, you can see that it was 61 lakhs last year this year i think is 65 lakhs if you break the bond you can check that right code of conduct admission procedure right uh what are the items that you need to carry uh while you go for admission right right even the dress they tell you exactly what you need to bring the allowances for medical cadets what are the allowances you get right this is one college where you get lot of allowances right insurance scheme right and so on right and also there will be okay there are certain certificates you need to produce some undertaking that right? all these will be provided to you nothing to worry all these will be given to you right and then how much fees you need to pay that is also provided in the joining uh, document right college fees okay mess deposit and admission fees and so on right so these are the details probably you should know and these are the five steps you should go through if you are interested in afmc it's not a simple procedure it contains a lot of steps but if you are interested this is one of the top most college in india and it's nothing wrong in going through the difficult procedure my best wishes to you thank you bye bye